Hey guys, welcome to IT Army. In the last video, I showed you how to make a Windows 10 UEFI bootable flash drive. If you have not seen that video, just go ahead and click on this link. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 10 using the same flash drive in UEFI mode. Now, for the guys, those who don't know UEFI, it's Unified Extensible Firmware Interface. This is a, a modern firmware that replaces the old BIOS that we were using since around 25 years. That had some limitations. The biggest limitation was that it was supporting just maximum 2 terabytes of hard drive. And UEFI is more secure. So in this, this video is not all about uh, differences between UEFI and BIOS, but some um, somewhat later I'll be creating video on the differences between UEFI and BIOS. As of now what you need to understand is that UEFI is the new firmware and it is more secure as in comparison to BIOS. So uh, ensure that you install Windows 10 in UEFI mode. Previously I also showed you how to install Windows 10 but that was in legacy mode. In this video I'm going to show you how to install Windows in UEFI mode. The installation I'm going to do on the machine where Windows 10 was already installed in legacy mode. So uh, that installation was uh, in MBR format, the hard drive was in MBR format. So to install Windows 10, we need to clean all the partitions and we need to delete them. So just ensure that you have taken the backup of all the partitions, all your videos, photos, everything. And then we'll be doing the installation. And uh, most of the modern laptop that they are coming in the market with uh, Windows 10 installed, they are installed in UEFI mode that is more secure. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we are ready to install Windows 10 in UEFI mode and I have already inserted my flash drive and I'm going to start my machine and along with that I'll keep on pressing F12 to get to the boot menu. For you it may be F1 or escape or F8, just, uh, just check the documentation of your machine. And over here you can see that it is showing you that uh, boot mode is set to UEFI and secure boot is off. So in case if you don't see this option, you can go to BIOS setup and change it. And because my boot mode is set to UEFI, that's why you are seeing a section over here, UEFI boot. And I have already inserted the flash drive and showing you that UEFI flash drive. So uh, in case if you have set it to BIOS you just need to go to BIOS setup and you you must select UEFI and for me this legacy ROM options is enabled that's why you are seeing those if I just remove it and click apply and exit and keep on pressing F12 to get to the boot options. So now my machine is running in native UEFI mode. So the only options uh, from where you can start is only the UEFI compatible devices. So if you insert a DVD, you can boot from there. If you insert a UEFI flash drive, you can boot from there. So uh, I'll be booting off with the UEFI flash drive. I'll just press enter key. Okay, so as usual, you get the Windows Setup dialog box. I'll go ahead with the default options and click on Next. Install now. I don't have a product key. I'll go with Windows 10 Home Edition. I accept the license agreement. I want to do the custom windows install and from here you can see that uh, the partitions that are shown up over here is giving you an error that windows cannot be installed on drive 0 partition uh, 2 and partition 1 and uh, the reason is that these drive is in MBR format and for UEFI installation the drive must be formatted in uh, GPT. So if I click on this, you can see the detail that Windows cannot be installed on this disk. The selected disk has MBR partition table. On UEFI systems, Windows can only be installed on GPT disk. So uh, I will be deleting these partitions. So just make sure that whatever content you have in this hard drive, we have backed it up. I'll delete this. Delete the second partition. Delete the third partition. Now all the partitions I have deleted and uh, you can see over here I have two hard drives, drive 0 and drive 1. So I'll go ahead with the first drive 
and no more that uh, error is occurring so if you don't want to make any partition just go ahead and click next and it will automatically make uh, all the partitions or if you want to make multiple partitions you can go ahead and click on new here it's asking you that how many partitions you want to create what is the size of that partition so i want to allocate the entire hard drive for single partition later on also you can uh, do partitioning so i'll click apply now it's telling you that's going to create some more system partitions i agree with that and click on yes And now you can see it has created a bunch of partitions. We have uh, 500 MB, 100 MB and 16 MB partitions. Normally you might have seen that when you were doing the non-UEFI installation, it just created single 550 MB partition. But now here you are getting three system reserved partition. And this is the uh, what, you, what will be your C, complete C drive partition. So uh, I'll go ahead and click next. Now remaining all the installation is same as uh, a normal non-UEFI installation and I'll be back once this installation is done. Okay, so the installation is done and just to cross check whether uh, what kind of installation we have done, we can go to the run menu, right clicking, run and type over here ms info 32 and click on OK. And from here you can see that says BIOS mode as UEFI. If it is non-UEFI, it's going to say BIOS mode as legacy. So um, that's all for this video. Hope you like this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe.